Hello dear students, welcome to our today's lecture. In our today's lecture, we are going to see evaluation of pharmaceutical suppositories. So let's begin with our lecture. We'll be starting with enlisting the various evaluation parameters for suppository. So this evaluation parameters for suppositories include first one is general appearance, then uniformity of weight, third one is test for dissolution rate, fourth one is disintegration test, fifth one is content uniformity test, sixth one is breakage test which is also known as test of physical strength, then seventh one is melting point determination test, eighth one is liquefaction time or softening test, ninth one is assay of active content and tenth one is test of drug uptake or absorption into bloodstream. So now we'll be seeing all these tests one by one. We'll be starting with general appearance. So students, this general appearance are generally done or this test are generally done using our own sense organs like that of visual inspection. Okay. So all the suppositories should be uniform in terms of their size, shape, color, surface condition, etc. Then the suppositories should have an elegant appearance and individual suppositories should be examined for cracks and pits that may be present due to the entrapment of air in the molten mass. Getting now. Moving to the next test that is uniformity of weight. So students again it is important to check that the batch of suppository is homogeneous that is all the suppositories in the same batch as well as in different batches have the same weight right. So for this purpose what is done is initially any 20 suppositories are selected randomly they are weighed individually that is w1 w2 w3 likewise and average weight is calculated getting that is by adding sum of individual suppositories upon total number of suppositories that was taken right then limit for this is not more than two suppository differ from the average weight by more than five percent so whatever value is obtained getting none of the no i mean not more than any two of the suppositories should exceed to the 5% and no suppository should differ from the average weight by more than 10%. Okay, so this is the condition to pass the test of uniformity of weight. Okay, now moving to the next test. So the next test is test for dissolution rate. So students, it is the amount of drug from that gets dissolved in body fluid in unit time getting it is measured of rate of drug release from the suppository so for this purpose two types of apparatus are available they are the first one is suppository dialysis cell so basically lipophilic suppositories are tested using suppository dialysis cell which is also called as modified flow through cells whereas the second apparatus that is used is stationary basket okay so rotating paddle apparatus usp dissolution test apparatus right already we have seen this are used for determination of dissolution rate and this stationary basket is generally used for hydrophilic suppositories by using rotating paddle apparatus okay now moving to the next test that is disintegration test so students in case of suppositories we are to take three suppositories and perform this test getting so after 30 minutes the suppository should get disintegrated if it is fat based suppository whereas it should get disintegrated in 60 minutes if it is water based suppository getting now moving to the next test so next test is about content uniformity test okay so 
take 10 suppositories and determine the active ingredient of each of the 10 suppositories by using a suitable analytical methods. Then, all the suppositories should contain the same labeled quantity of drug and none of them should be outside the limit that is 25% of average value. Getting? So initially you are going to take 10 suppositories and you are going to determine the active ingredient into them by using different analytical technique and none of them should exceed 25% of the average value that you have obtained. Then if it does not follows the first one at that time you need to repeat the test by using another 20 suppositories taken at random and from that if out of 30 suppositories now so 30 initially you have taken 10 and now you have taken 20 right so that will make it 30 getting so out of 30 suppositories not more than three individual values are outside the limit of 50 percent of the average value and none is outside the limit of 25 percent of the average value getting then and then only it is going to comply with the test or pass the test or else it will fail this content uniformity test. So I will just summarize this test again. Initially you are going to take 10 suppositories. You are going to determine active ingredient. Okay. Then what you are going to do is all the active ingredient what are found they are in range and none of them are exceeding 25% of the average value that you have obtained. And if in case it is not in the range at that time you are going to repeat it by using 20 more suppositories. So now you have total 30 suppositories 10 initially and 20 you have taken in the latter stage right. So out of those 30 suppositories not more than 3 individual suppositories can be outside the limit of 15% and none of the suppository should be outside the limit of 25% okay so if it fulfills this condition then it passes the test or else it fails okay now moving to the next test that is breakage test or test of physical strength so students the tensile strength of suppository is measured in this test to assess their ability to withstand the rigorous of normal handling the apparatus used is called as breaking test apparatus. It consists of a double wall chamber. Through the wall of chamber water is pumped. The inner chamber consists of disc that holds the suppository. To this disc a rod is attached. The other end of rod consists of another disc on which weight is placed. So here you can see the image of the apparatus. Okay, so initially what is done, place the suppository in the instrument, then add 600 gram and leave it for 1 minute, getting, then if your suppository does not break at that time, you are going to add 200 gram every 1 minute until suppository is broken, okay, so this is how you are going to perform this test and this tensile strength indicates the maximum force which the suppository can withstand during production, packing and handling. Okay. And large tensile strength indicate less tendency to fracture. Okay. Now moving to the next test. So next test is about melting point determination. Okay. So both micro melting range and micro melting range can be determined okay so first one will be see the macro melting range in this thermal stability of the suppository is measured for this tablet disintegration apparatus is used okay so it is a time taken by the entire suppository to melt in con i mean a constant temperature water bath okay the test is conducted using tablet disintegration apparatus and the suppository is immersed in a constant water bath. Finally, the melting range is recorded. Getting? Now, moving to the second one 
that is macro melting range so for that purpose the melting range of fatty based is measured in capillary tubes now moving to the further test so next test is about liquefaction time or softening getting so basically softening time is the time for which suppository melts completely at a definite temperature this test measures the softening time of suppositories which indicate the hardness of the base so students for this purpose the liquefaction temperature or time test is done by using the fabricated instrument okay a big pipette is taken having a narrow opening on one end or one side and a broad opening on another side then a pipette is dipped in hot water maintained at 35 plus minus 0.2 degrees celsius so that the narrow end faces towards the hot water getting further the sample suppository is introduced from the top of the pipette through the broad end and carefully pushed down its length until it reaches the narrow end further a glass rod is then inserted so that it rest over the suppository the temperature at which the glass rods just come down is noted which repeats sorry represents the liquefaction temperature getting and the time at which the glass rod reaches to the narrow end after complete melting of suppository is known as the liquefaction time or it represents the liquefaction time okay now moving to the next test that is assay of active content so students all the suppositories should contain the same labeled quantity of drug and none of them should exceed or should be outside the limit getting so whatever amount of drug has been mentioned on the label your product should consist of that much amount of drug only active constituent only and the official limit for active content is 95 to 105% getting now moving to the next test so next test is test of drug uptake or absorption into blood stream so this is our last test for suppository basically both in vivo and in vitro tests are conducted to assess the amount of drug absorbed into the systemic circulation okay that is to find out how much amount of drug has reached to the blood stream getting so the first one that is in vitro test okay in vitro means outside the body whereas in vivo indicates inside the body getting so the first one that is in vitro test the test conducted or the test conditions should be similar to those inside the human body the dissolution apparatus is used which consists of a simulated gastric and simulated intestinal fluids a definite number of suppositories are placed in the apparatus aliquot portion of the dissolved uh, dissolution medium are withdrawn at definite interval of time and drug uptake is measured using a uv spectrophotometer okay so you can use this method to determine the drug uptake or the absorbed amount of drug getting so initially what you have done you have made or you have provided the conditions outside the body similar that is inside the body and you have placed the suppositories then you have taken the amount of the uh, dissolution medium as per the uh, specifications right at the specific intervals okay and then you have observed it using the uv spectrophotometer in order to determine the amount of drug that is present in the medium okay then the second is in vivo test so this test is carried out on animals or human volunteers right as already said in vivo that is inside the body so this test are done either on animals 
or on human volunteers. The suppository is placed in intended body cavity and at regular interval of time blood samples are collected and amount of drug present is determined into that sample getting. So this is how one can perform test of drug uptake or absorption into bloodstream. So that's all in our today's video. Thank you students for watching till end.